Welcome back to the Geek and Geezer Fishing Channel. Today's video, we are up in the Phoenix area, Mesa, Chandler, Tempe area, and uh, we're staying up here for the weekend. We've got ourselves a hotel, and we're gonna be trying to hit as much urban water as we can. Canals, ponds, lakes, Dobson Ranch, whatever we can get it near. We're gonna be using Google Maps, and uh, hopefully not get ourselves in trouble, but we're gonna be trying to just fish a lot. So uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Click subscribe, smash that like button, leave us some comments, and we'll catch up with you guys out there on the water. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be different, but it's gonna be cool. All right, guys, so we're looking at, uh, looking at this app here that I uh, found. It's like a map marker app. And uh, I'll zoom out a little bit. We've got just a bunch of water up here in the Phoenix area. This yellow dot here is our hotel. Blue dots on the map indicate uh, canals that I marked. Um, and then there's just a bunch of little parks and ponds. And some of these that we don't know if we can fish or we can or we can't. We just really don't know. But today what we're going to be checking out is what I've heard people refer to as the Green Belt. We're going to go up to Chaparral up here. Um, go up to Chaparral and then work our way down to the Indian School Park. And then down to El Dorado Park, down to McPhelps, and, uh, or McKelps. I'm not exactly sure how it's spelled. Um, we're going to try and do all that before lunch. So we'll see how it goes. But that's what we're doing today. By the hot tub. Yeah, people didn't even clean up after themselves. Huh? All right, guys. So we made it to Chaparral Lake. It's about 5:30. We're still getting a pretty early start, so we're gonna get to fishing. And we'll bring you guys along for the ride. We're just gonna kind of pond hop all day long and uh, we'll see how it turns out for us. Yep. Had one hit it right out the gate. Walking bait. Dude, that sucks. I don't know how he didn't get any of these hooks, man. Oh, I just snapped off. Well, guys, I just lost a fish on the drop shot. Like I said, I do not like the polymer knot on uh, fluorocarbon. It just cuts into itself. The bobber stops thing, it works, but if you're fishing anything with any sort of cover, it doesn't work that well either. So I just tried a new knot that I've been practicing for a little bit. And uh, it's called like a drop, uh, it's called a dropper loop. You can tie it though without a loop. You end up with a, a knot basically above and below the hook don't know if you'll be able to see that too well but let's get i'm going to start playing with that and see if that works any better because like i said i'm tired of losing fish on this freaking drop shot 
That one? Yep. Yeah. Geek's got one. There we go. Boat flip them. Um. I got it. Yeah. Hey, look, he doesn't even like that salad. Chew on the old wobble head. Yeah. Let me get out. Of, let me get out of the light there. There you go. There you go. Little fish here. Let me get him back and show you what I'm fishing with here. On the drop. Yeah. So this is the what is the hard hat? Whatever Carl's is rear loader wobblehead mm -hmm. d-bomb missile baits really natural color this this water's pretty clear here and uh kyle picked this one by random chance for me so thank you perfect huh yep All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up our time over here at Chaparral. Obviously, we did not fish all the lake. We didn't even fish close to all the lake. Got a couple of fish, we're gonna move on to the next one. We're gonna try and cover a bunch of urban uh, urban spots today. So uh, we're gonna try and get a couple and move on. Um, there's gonna probably be some lakes that we uh, don't get a couple and we move on. So uh, we're moving on to the next one. We'll catch up with you guys at the next one. And I'm gonna say next one 18 more times, okay? Next one, next one, next one, next one, next one. I don't know if it's the best idea, but I'm going out on that. Got one guy. Got one, just a little guy. But we got one. Another pond fish. Another pond, another fish. Another pond, another fish. Man, that is so cool. Got that one on the drop shot. Boom, little dude. Dude, right on. Thanks, man. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, but like I said, I almost, oh, dude. Oh, yeah. oh, dude, he hit my freaking bait ball spinner bait. Nice. I'm gonna let him run a little bit. It looks like he's hooked good. <sighs> Calm down, bud. You were hit. <laughs> dude, hit me right at the bank. Right to you, Corey. Oh, nice. <gasps> dude, on the bait ball. Oh, dude, I just switched to that. that just thing. switched to that. Oh, my goodness. What a good choice. Yep, I got to throw it out. <laughs> it's not even that. He hit like right there, though. Huh? You got it? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> got one on something moving, guys. <laughs> Another decent one, man. 
nothing crazy, but Dude, a couple pounder. Good, yeah. Whew, he's hefty too, man. Oh man. Thank you, Fitch. Thank you, thank you. And away you go. I'm gonna throw this bait ball on. I said it looks like if they're feeding, I said they're not gonna care if it's bluegill or minnows or Yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking. I was all, he hit it like a ton of bricks. So you could tell because I, I was nervous to bring him up. <laughs> yeah. When they were targeting, when we were catching them on the jerk baits out there, and they were really targeting on shad, it seemed like. <clears throat> On to the next lake. Who's saying are we mimicking? He's a content creator on YouTube who makes fishing lures. On to the next lake. Comment down below if you know. We just pulled up to El Dorado Park and uh, it is all fenced off. The whole thing. So I don't know if they had a water issue or you, you take it. If they had a water issue or if they're doing a, maybe a pump maintenance or what's going on, but it is all fenced off. So this will not be getting fished today by us, anyhow. On to the next lake. <laughs> all right, guys, we are at McKellips Lake now, and we uh, had to do a little detouring, a little backtracking. Geezer left some batteries back at uh, Indian School, but that's all right, we found them. So that's a plus. And now it's time to catch some more fish. So let's get after it. Oh yeah, there's like water flowing in or out of it. Saw some minnows out there. There we go, guys. Little guy on the tail spin. Oh, God. Came off. On to the next lake. <laughs> All right, guys, we are at Dobson Ranch. We need a fishing permit to be here. We are currently starting up here in lake number one and we're going to just try and check it out. There's so much water here to fish, um, but you do need a permit. Um, we got our permits. It's like $20 for a whole year's permit. So what's the point of not just getting it right? Uh, but we're here now. We're going to go check it out, see if we can't get on some fish. and I was hoping maybe I'd catch on. Try to stand right next to this bush. Stay hidden. <laughs> First oh boat out of here. Right. He, hit, he hit this high bait. Sweet. I got something similar to that too. Nice. Very nice. He's missing an eye. Oh, 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 oh. Well, Thanks. Well. There he goes. He seriously, like, I got it by him, twitched it, twitched it, and he was all, just, and like, yeah. he did, he yawned it in. He didn't even, like, he didn't smash it. All right, guys, well, I don't know how much of that you're going to get, but I just caught my first ever glide bait fish. I actually kind of sight fished him, too. I casted far out past him, and then when I got up close, I could see this fish, and I just kind of twitched this around a little bit. This is the Shine Glider uh, 135. I believe it's by Savage Gear. Um and uh gave it a few twitches and he came up and just kind of i mean he didn't crush it or anything but he just sucked it in and as i set the hook my camera's dying so i don't know what you guys got and then i called over the geek the geek's camera's dead 
So the, uh, the geezer came over, then I dropped the poor sucker. So it's just fantastic, but we got one. We got one fish now, so whew, exciting. And that's my first ever glide bait fish, so I'm super excited about that. So I was just thinking, man, there's no fishing. Yeah. <laughs> I just threw it as far as I could. And, um... Nice. Just a retro... A little shaky head? Yeah. Yeah? Shaky head with a... Curly tail worm. Whatever. Nice, nice. Skinny. Oh, and there he goes. Right on, dude. Backflip. I told you this was your leg. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to wrap up our urban pond fishing, urban spot fishing up here in the Phoenix area. We were in Tempe, Scottsdale, Gilbert. We went all over the place. Mesa, we went to Bass Pro. Um, we had, we had, did a lot of stuff. Actually, turns out we did fairly well. We caught fish at a lot of places. So this is going to turn into two parts. So thank you so much for tuning in for part one. As always, guys, click subscribe, smash that like button, leave us some comments, and thank you for... Uh, being here thanks for watching the video and stay tuned for part two of fishing up here in phoenix urban ponds